Since its inception and until today, the AFPD has worked tirelessly on behalf of its members. In the early 1900s, the grocery industry centered on meat and butcher shops in the Detroit area. And AFPD began in 1910 as the Detroit Retail Meat Merchants Association. With each era, issues and concerns, and with each challenge, the AFPD stood tall and fought for its membership. Since the beginning, the association has been aimed at industry to protect the interest of its membership. The Detroit Retail Meat Merchants, along with the sister association, Detroit Retail Grocers Association, were lobbying on behalf of its members since 1913. During the Great Depression, business struggled. Merchants were awaiting the repeal of the Prohibition Act and the promised legalization of wine and beer. In the 1940s, the association fought a major battle against Jimmy Hoffa and the Teamsters who tried to shake down the grocers for $5 permits in order to pick up their orders from wholesale food suppliers. The public fight garnered media attention and support of the association from both the news and the free press resulted in a judge issuing a warrant for the arrest of Hoffa on charges of extortion of the grocers. It also spawned a federal investigation. It's been no ordinary trip to the grocery store. The 1967 riots had the association working tirelessly to assist retailers seeking aid, insurance, and small business loans. Members of the association also appeared in Washington, D.C. before the U.S. Senate subcommittee charged with investigating the riots. In the 1980s, a new brand of stores emerged in Detroit, like Save-A-Lot. Pay-at-the-pump gas stations emerged and convenience stores popped up. The era of the 70s and 80s supercenter surfaced and the association knew it had to compete. They saw an opportunity to offer members with price discounts, special pricing and promotions. Over the years, the name of the association changed several times. But the mission of the now AFPD, the voice of independent retailers, has remained the same, to represent its members in the community with government leaders, with business, wholesale, and to provide programs and services that enable its members to work more efficiently. As time passed, the association grew, and educational seminars, workshops, and clinics were provided, and strategic communication plans were put in place to help store owners improve operations. Today, the AFPD offers retailers an extensive program of services that stresses advertised national brands, local wholesales, group-rated compensation, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan Health Plan, coupon redemption, financial services, liquor liability insurances, DTE energy saving programs, and various other programs designed to provide substantial benefit to the retailer. In 2010, AFPD was successful in changing the food stamp distribution program for the state of Michigan, enabling retailers to properly stock produce and other fresh foods, as well as better manage payroll. It was rolled out in 2011. Also in 2011, AFPD led the effort to repeal the archaic item pricing law and the liquor tax where retailers now pay the same amount for the same bottle of spirits as do restaurants and bars. The association has a political action committee created to ensure our voice is heard in Lansing and Columbus and to ensure a level playing field. It continues to speak out against tax incentives that only benefit big box retailers and leaves out the independents. Building bridges, education, and community outreach is imperative. The AFPD's annual scholarship program gives out thousands of dollars in college scholarships to hundreds of students. The program was created in 1972. Former scholarship recipients include retailers, lawyers, doctors, and CEOs. The scholarship program was renamed the Joseph D. Sarafa Scholarship Luncheon in honor of former long-serving president Joe Sarafa, who as a young high school student was a recipient of the award. The AFPD annual turkey drive has expanded over the years. This program that began in 1976 gave out 17 turkeys its first year. In 2011, the foundation gave out a record 5,100 turkeys. More than 50 people volunteered to distribute the turkeys to more than 30 nonprofits. 
Leadership with the AFPD has always been focused on preserving and protecting the existence and success of the independent retailer and to ensure fair competition in the marketplace. The AFPD is the voice of the independent retailer, and we are communicating on your behalf every day.